Right now I'm at the engraver's shop and he's not here but he told me I can come in and and uh, take two touch marks that he's got that are ready for me here. And th those are these two right here. And then I will just figured I'll give you a quick little peek at his shop. His small little shop here. Over here. Come in. Toilet. And straight ahead. This is kind of his uh, little desk area here. And we come on in. We've got some equipment. He's got a uh, milling machine here. Drill press. Some kind of a, not sure what this is, a water jet. Not really sure. It's pretty old equipment. And then this is his main piece of equipment right here that he does his engraving work with. So, very, very small shop. You know, could use a paint job, I suppose, but yeah, he's a real nice guy and he's an older guy and I guess he doesn't mind. He does nice work. You can see here in this area in Taiwan, it's it's really safe. It's like no one comes in and messes with this stuff. He just told me, just put the money wherever. So, because he's just, he's not here right now. So, yeah, pretty interesting. So, there it is. Right, I'll quickly run through a few more touch marks that were made for customers by the engraver. And I'm going to, if I put this piece of steel here, it seems to focus in pretty good. So, I'll hold that there. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, and obviously an anvil and inside of that there are some lines in that diamond shape and inside of it it's probably hard to read but it's obviously backwards is A-S-H or ASH and uh, I, I really like this because it's not abstract the anvil we can see it's an anvil but it's an irregular form and I like the stylized lettering and this one should be very easy to imprint given the fine lines Okay, here's a more a more prominent or a little bit larger wolf, uh, which has an eye as well, and then the initials B W beneath. Don't know if that's quite focused in. There it is. So very nice. Again, you know, um, images like this that are solid uh, uh, make up one solid piece. There are not no fine lines to that wolf. Usually a little bit harder to imprint, but looks good and it's 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 a standalone wolf head so that that should help just focused in here all right this is the latest touch mark for a customer latest creation by the engraver here uh, it's uh, you can see the initials BC and a compass and a square. Very nice. So I'll give this one a try, and then, as usual, I'll show you guys the result. Okay, and lastly, here's one. Well, I don't know. This one is just doesn't want to focus in. There we go. So uh, on the bottom, you can see the last name Widus, and then you see a, a kind of an unusual hammer it almost looks like a flatter to me uh, very nice and the the swoosh there is uh, I would assume to be a, a D also a stylized D because I know this gentleman's first name obviously uh, this one is really nice you know I like the mix of the hammer and the the larger initial there and you know the last name in, in clear lettering beneath so this would be interesting I'll be interested to see how this one works and what I'll do is I'll use these touch marks and rather than show you me using them which is just pretty boring I'll just I'll show the results okay here are the results of these touch marks come in a little bit more
what I'll do now is I'll use a wire wheel to clean these up and remove the scale and and that should make them uh, stand out a little bit more. I now know the engraver's main piece of equipment is called a pantograph, or at least that's what I think. I may try to film him working. Check out my website, gstongs.com. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Here's some bonus footage. This is the engraver's main piece of equipment here. You can see. You got to find the name of this sort of equipment. You can see how he puts a uh, copper plate here, and then this traces that as he works on the touch mark itself over here. Very interesting.